Hey everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome back to quite a nice case. What we have in this ear canal is what I'm describing as a sort of snakeskin mass. It's lots and lots of dead skin which is tightly packed and coiled in the ear canal, which is not common. We only see maybe 10 cases of this a year and this is a sort of prime example. What's happened here, and this is causing quite a degree of hearing loss and this patient is fairly distressed. She's had hearing loss in this ear for a couple of weeks and as you can imagine has tried all manner of home remedies and drops to resolve the situation but nothing's working. What's caused this is this patient's husband snores terribly and obviously it's the snoring that's caused this. No of course it hasn't. What's happened is that this patient uses is constrained to using earplugs every night. And they're not the sort of nice custom-made earplugs that you would see a musician wearing or a professional swimmer, that kind of thing. These are the generic kind of foam squishy ones that you basically have to shove in your ear canal quite deeply. And rather than the skin of the ear canal, you know, migrating away from the eardrum down the ear canal and then shedding in the first third, sort of the outer third of the ear canal and creating earwax, which is what earwax is, it's just dead skin shed from the ear canal mixed with glandular secretions, okay? That skin has not had a chance to do that. It's been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back every time, every night over the course of probably a long period of time, maybe up to a year. So it's been pushed back in this kind of weird accordion style nature. And what we're seeing now is obviously it's reached critical mass. Maybe she's been in the shower, you know, when a little bit of water has got in. And of course, a big plug of dead skin is going to absorb that water and expand a little bit and then bang, the hearing goes. And then she starts to panic. So as you can see, I'm removing it here with manual tools. Now the first little kind of black kind of sickle tool that you saw, that's called a Rosen inserter, which I've maybe shown once before. It's not the tool that I really reach for that often, but I thought um, sometimes I watch the Audiology Associates videos and Taylor Green loves a cheeky Rosen inserter. So, so I thought, oh, okay, I'll try another Rosen inserter. But I just, I, I bailed as you can see, and I'm now using a hook. So this is, you know, the, the mass looks a lot, but remember I'm, I'm sort of uncoiling the accordion, okay, and I'm just dragging it out. When I first saw it, I thought, well, just maybe that'll come out with suction. But then I, I remembered very quickly that from previous cases, when I've removed it with suction, the suction has just taken off little bits here and there and it's taken ages. So I thought I'll just drag it out with a hook and hopefully it'll all come out as one. So there you can go. And you can see you know, there's very clear sort of you know, creases in the skin where it's, it's folded back on itself over and over and over again like an onion. Eardrum looking lovely. It's a little bit vascular around the annulus, but it's, it's not a problem. So, you know, uncoiled, it's, you know, it's a good four centimeters thereabouts. And then there you have the Rosen inserter and the hook. Um, the Rosen inserter is made out of plastic, something like that. And the hook's made out of uh, surgical steel. So there we go. Very, very tiny instruments there. So there we go. I hope you found this video helpful. As to what this patient's going to do, I've basically said the best thing to do would be for her husband to see an ENT doctor to see if there's any kind of medical surgical approach to resolving the snoring. That would be great. If not, then I've uh, told her that she can always come back to see me for some custom-made earplugs, which are very easy to make. You just put a little piece of foam in the ear canal, squirt some putty in, jobs are good. Un. So I hope you found that entertaining. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I will try my very best to get back to you. And of course, I will see you guys on the next video.